that's about. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Can't even look. Where's Carl? Carl! Yeah, look how much. I, I was happy to get as much damage done before the oh. Emperor even entered the battle. It's Carl, baby! <laughs> Like and subscribe for more Total War head-to-head -head content. Or don't, I mean, we really can't force you to. But we would love to hear your thoughts on the video in the comments, or suggestions you'd have for future campaigns. Welcome back, everyone. So when we last left off, Carl had just finished uniting the Empire. We had confederated most of the Electors, and we had dispatched armies west, north, and east. Back at Altdorf, Forrest Toddbringer is mustering troops to reinforce Carl, who has crossed into Kislev, to confront the growing shadow to the north. I came southeast, conquering territory and making vassals. After that, Kolok became the commander of my eastern armies and took all this territory above the Great Bastion and the Great Bastion itself. In the meantime, I had Archeon conquering this territory and making vassals, including Boris Ursus, because I thought it'd be funny if I had him go attack his daughter. To my daughter! Archeon's the bringer of the end times. He does what the end times brought to him, so I started rushing him south to take Reiklanon head on. Although this would mean Archeon attacking by himself at the beginning, I wasn't too worried because I was really confident in his army comp, and I had reinforcements like Kolek on the way. Alright, well, we gotta recruit troops now that Archeon's breathing down our neck. Your orders? What? Yes, General. Drill! Flame on! Another infrastructure montage. Grand Cathay is always ready to trade. I don't think they've ever not wanted a trade agreement. We make our How are you attacking Krakadraka already? I don't think I didn't notice you marching north already. The beacons are lit! Krakadraka. Sarl's your vassal now? I don't know if I want to do this. Well, I mean, that depends. That depends on what? How soon you want to die? That's it. We're going to war. War with the chaos or not, matters on the home front continue. The Empire standing together is better than it divided, so I'm going to confederate Ostland. Attack! Ulrich's will! We're taking the fight to chaos, baby. Give me frozen landing. Had you pushed really far north. Yeah, you know, I, I felt like we needed to, to put chaos on edge for once. I'm not going to sit back there and just take it. Alright, Katarin. I'm going to need you to be strong because who knows what lies beyond in the north. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm close. How did you have an army so close? Were you in ambush stance the whole time? Maybe. Um, I didn't really think about things here, but I have a lot of guns and artillery, and there's a forest in between us, and I completely ignore the fact that I just have this big corner that I just chose not to use with no trees involved at all. What's your strategy yeah. here, Kyle? Yeah, so basically, I saw you, uh... <laughs> pretty much doing that and was like, alright, well, I'll just use the trees as cover while I rush up. What are you doing with our my... here? Well, I'm bringing my cav up along the side. I'm bringing my chosen or aspiring champions first because they have the shield. And I'm bringing my uh, hero on his uh, manticore up there to deal with your flying wizard. Pull oh, back. Wizard, yeah. Which allows Arcan just to get in there and start messing with the guns, stopping, stopping them from shooting. I think at this and, point uh, I had Franz attacking Archeon, because he has Galmarez, which is anti-large. So I thought I would kill him, but he's getting pimp slapped. I mean, you know what? He did do a little good chunk of health there on the charge. At this point, like, I, yeah, the artillery just hasn't been getting a lot of kills, and I've been pushing through the trees. And or as of right now, like, most of the guns are just distracted, so they can't really get any good kills. This was so frustrating for me over here. <laughs> Pink Horde's and that, each coming up behind me and killing my artillery. I didn't even notice it. On my left flank, obviously my infantry is just completely collapsing. I 
I did not have a good defensive position at all. My units are all out of alignment. I've got halberds over here doing absolutely nothing. And unfortunately, I left my my wizard to just one-on-one -on -one Archeon, because this is just a great matchup. You were just too distracted by the slaughter going on to your main army. I was just, just I was choking so hard. Look at him choke! Just frantically trying to micro, everything's in ruin. <laughs> it's everything's just and these swordsmen, I think these are swordsmen of all or no, they're great swords. They're they're doing <laughs> absolutely nothing. Oh, oh, oh no. You didn't even need to bring all your troops up. Eating casts of the steering do. For real. Well, all my artillery's been completely eliminated, so that was highly effective. Money well spent on the artillery. Archeon did take a lot of damage on the push, and so did my uh, my hero on his Manticore. Yeah. But I think it was worth it. It was just such a big distraction that those artillery and guns just basically did nothing in the game, so. And then now we've just got these, like, eight-foot-tall aspiring champions just running down my poor chaps. And then in here, obviously, we got these Swords of Ulrich that have just zero armor pin, and they're getting tossed around like, oh my good heavens. Yeah, needless to say, this is a pretty good uh, first battle for me. The damage on those borders and hellstorms, like, that's that was the game right there. Yeah, they did nothing. Archeon is just so strong. This army's insane. I got a couple traps for you up my sleeve, though. We'll see about that. Dude, <laughs> I swear I never get any positive ambushes. Unbelievable. Uh, now Nicholas is just screwed. Get out of there, Nick. Get over here. Run, Nick. Oh my god, I'm lagging. Carl, get out of here, Carl. Fuck, get him. <laughs> no, damn it. <laughs> uh, I was trying to get one on one, but I I'm think I might take this still. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'll defend the bridge. We can't let you get to Prague. So I set my army up here on the right side because I thought that you would be like in front of me here. Uh, so I, I mean, I, I figured if it ain't broke. Oh, you know, don't yeah. do anything, just push through the trees again, because that really worked on the first battle. Yeah, exactly, and so all my artillery gets to die very early in proper fashion. We're waiting on Karl Franz and his reinforcements. What's your strategy here, Kyle? Just stick to the stick to the trees? I kind of want to push those fast, just so you didn't have a ton of time to react, but I didn't want to just keep taking shots on the advance. You also came in with these Chaos Knights. I unfortunately didn't see these at the start of the battle, so yeah, I'm turning all my guys to shoot them. Yeah, so one thing I noticed was I should take advantage of you having your Free Company Misha so spread out and split from your infantry support. I realized that I could try to pinch them here. And yeah. Crowd in by Archeon and the Knights there while my infantry yeah. came up and, and hit them. Over here, I was trying to kill this Manticore with... Uh, Nicholas Alderman. Wait, is this not a Manticore? Oh, this is an exalted hero. I yeah, remember so. at the time of the battle, I thought this was just a Manticore. So at this yeah, here's what here's my plan. So that's what I was doing. I was pinning down your yeah. your guns there with Archeon, and then it allowed my uh, infantry to get up close, which was nice. And... Yeah, yeah. And at this point, my my missile line is again out of alignment. I'm getting smashed by L cannons. Yeah. Over here, I did run down these. Chaos Knights of Zinch. So right here, obviously, I'm just trying to put as much damage down on these guys as I can, but these are just crossbowmen, and they're not armor-piercing. So their ability to deal damage is really limited. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Can't even look. Where's Carl? Carl! Yeah, look how much... I, I was happy to get as much damage done before the oh. Emperor even entered the battle. It's Carl, baby! <laughs> yeah, so luckily my bent started rallying on the other side of these trees. So at this point, I'm just trying to deal more damage where I can with these guys on the sides. You know, uh, obviously what they're able to do is limited, but anything is better than nothing. So at this point, I think I just send everything on Archeon. Yeah, you're trying to get some casts off on me. That was a miss, unfortunately, there. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, my, my strategy doesn't really differ much. I kind of just... Bring Archeon up, my fast units, tie down the guns and the artillery while my infantry slowly makes their way. Uh, we still have these cannons from that previous battle. They're not gone.
I wanted to keep Arcanon's army kind of in line with his skill tree and thematic by having a lot of chosen units. So I rocked with these chosen units a lot of the, most of the campaign so far. Um, yeah, but you were saying... But as, then... as time went on, yeah, you know, just because they you take more cows, just these are the inspiring champions, because as time goes on and the more uh, researches you unlock yeah. to boost those inspiring champions, just they get ridiculously overpowered. Archeon is over here, separated away from the rest of his army. I saw this as a golden opportunity to bring Carl over and maybe kill Archeon here. So yeah, so then I go for it. Hey, I wonder, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what the, oh yeah, there you can see right there, 37 and 29. So yeah, Archeon has a few, uh, good few levels on Carl there. Yeah. But he still does this. Carl still fights decently well against him. No, he does. He does. I'm trying to, I'm trying my best here to kill him, but Archeon is just such a tank. Yeah, to see, because of Carl, he's, uh, he's using all his buffs, and Archeon's not. Yeah, I'm using Galmaraz and Potion of Strength. Yeah, I, I, I honestly thought I could kill him here, and I brought in my wizard to try to tie him down as well. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. Honestly, a common theme in a lot of these battles we have is Carl, he can disengage so easily. Like, I've tried to get him to, I could try to get him tied down. Um, yeah, no, he you know, can. But he, he's very, very good at, he has a lot of mass to be able to just push out. No, oh, Carl, what have you done to my boy? Won't be seeing him again anytime soon, right? Uh, no, uh, Carl's, Carl's gonna be gone for a long time. We'll never, we'll never see him again, actually. Frog. Dead. Yep. My friend, let us begin. I want to kid up Gel, and I'm recruiting Hellblaster volley guns, which I normally don't, but I think it might be effective here. Can the treasury bear such expense? Franz is back. Kyle, Franz is back. Crap. The empire's collapsing. I just didn't. What the? F Why is my reliability very low? What the? F wars you got into? Dude, I haven't up. entered any wars. What? This doesn't make any f sense. Champion Why does this always lady. happen? I didn't declare war on anybody. To to visit. All right, time to sack his limb. Just wiping the floor with your ally. Katarin's uh, having a tough time. I took way more damage than I wanted to, though. That's really unfortunate. That is unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. By Sigma's right. Oh shit! Oh jeez! Let's go. I got you the are, camp off. That is so lucky. Oh <laughs> my god, that is insane. I don't know. I'm committed at this point. I'm not backing down. Your army's hurt. I'm going in. Yeah, this is... Oh, my God. We'll see who wins.